What's going on, guys? It is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen from my house. Listen, I wanna encourage you right now. Don't give up on your dreams. Whatever your dreams are, don't give up on them. Hold on to your dreams, go after your dreams, never stop believing. You know, I'm doing some things today in my life where I'm, I'm seeing my dreams come true because I didn't give up, like I didn't give up. There were times when it looked really, really bad. There were times when it just looked like it was never going to happen, but I kept going. I kept getting back up when I would fall, and now I'm seeing my dreams come to life. Your dreams are gonna come to life if you don't give up. So in order to succeed in Fortnite, you need three different things to make this happen. All right, you gotta write this down. Write this down. Three things in order to succeed in Fortnite. The first thing is practice. The second thing, is practice. And the third thing, you, you guess right, is practice. And this is how you do it. This is how you make it. I don't care if you're a casual player that just wants to have fun or you're a competitive player that wants to master all their skills. Listen, I get it, but you need to learn the most essential way to practice. So in this video, I'm so excited. We're gonna be showing you guys some dope creative maps and we're gonna give you guys some tips on how to take your game to the next level. You ready? Speaking of improving on Fortnite, okay, so if you've been hard stuck trying to get better at the game, consider heading over to ProGuides.com, where we have pro coaches who can help you out and give you advice to bring your game to the next level, along with exclusive courses from pros like Mongrel, come on now, Benji, and Lechi, which might help let you guys in on some of those pro secrets as well. Head on over to ProGuides.com today. All right, guys, it's about that time. Ladies and gentlemen, around the world, it's time to scream this out. Come on now, it's time to sit back. Relax and grab some of my favorite candy. Come on, y'all need to scream this out. What is that? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. And with all of that said, let's get started with a brand new creative map that's gonna absolutely blow your mind. Okay, I'm sure, you know, we've all been in this situation before, right? Okay, so you're grinding in creative, like, all the time, cranking out box fights and build fights, you know, playing against really good players, but you're just not improving at all. Who was that? Is that you? I see you. I understand. Well, this map right here, I mean, like, right here, might just be the solution to all of your problems and more. So this new map has been used a ton among pros and big content creators, you know, really over the past few days. And we figured it would be fair to just to give you guys a look. So the map is named Finest Realistic Mid-Game 1v1s, created by a YouTuber named Fortnite's Finest. So the code is up on the screen if you like to write it down or just put it into your creative. 79506306 4857 so what is so special about this map all right so to put it simply this map puts all the aspects of a real game fight you know including in-game locations realistic loot ammo materials health and everything else all right it puts it all into play all in a creative map so you and one opponent are placed into one of many different maps and forced to battle it out until one player wins you know, I feel like the best part of this map is just how much more realistic it is and how well it actually simulates into a real game scenario. You know, one thing I really dislike about, you know, the popular box and build fight maps are just how inflated they are in terms of like what you have. You know, you get a blue AR, purple pump, 500 materials, 200 HP, a slurp fish, and two minis every single round, man. But in this map, you know, you might have 1,000 materials one round and have 200 materials and a full gray loadout the next. Not only will this allow you to get better practice with a larger range of loadouts and situations, but it'll also allow you to practice interacting with your environment during fights. All the trees and structures around the map are farmable. Buildings have chests and floor loot inside. It's almost really a perfect representation of a real fight and a solo match. And also, it might be worth mentioning that, you know, if you want the same thing for duos, look no further, as there is a duo version of this map as well. And I honestly love the version of it. Okay, so here's the code. 7012-6446. 7281. All right, guys, so next up, we've got an interesting change to a creative that might help you with a bit of practice that Epic hasn't said anything about. Basically, if you load up a creative and just walk backwards toward this matchmaking test area, there are a bunch of different maps that you can load into, and one of these maps is a Zone Wars map. Basically, Epic has added back the old Zone Wars game mode everyone seemed to love. 
So if you like to use Zone Wars to practice in games or just hang out and just have some fun, this new Zone Wars matchmaking is worth trying out. So anyways, all right, consider using those two methods in creative to just practice your solos, right? As the realistic 1v1s are just really amazing for practicing those one-on-one -on -one fights and Zone Wars can be really helpful for third-party, you know, situations and also for in-game. All right, guys, so with that said, we're now gonna move on to some general tips to improve in solos. Who wants to do that? All right, guys, so the first tip is to play every single event you possibly can. Whether it's a normal cash cup, you know, hype night, you know, whatever. The more you practice, the better you're going to get, period. The great thing about these events are not only that, you know, they're going to put you in a tournament setting against players who are, for the most part, pretty good, but they also are going to help you guys improve at playing for a longer time since most events are like three hours and you're going to keep your full focus for this time, allowing you guys to improve just much faster than if you were just hanging out with some friends or just playing pubs or arena. Okay, so on top of all of this, tournaments are gonna allow you to properly track your progress and improvements every single time. You know, you can use this in-game leaderboards or website like Fortnite Tracker to see past points and placements and just see how they improve, right? Giving you guys a really good idea of just how much better you're getting. So from now on, you know, whenever you see one of those events starting up, consider hopping in and just joining the fun. The second tip is to play more arena and scrim matches, man. All right, so this may seem like a really simple tip on the surface, and I get it, and I guess it really is simple, but I just see so many people making this mistake. Creative is great, don't get me wrong, it is. But if you're really trying to improve at the game, you have to play the actual game. <laughs> there's just really no way around it. You know, even with the amazing creative map we just showed you at the beginning of the video, there's just nothing that matches to the true game itself. Creative can only take you so far in Fortnite. All right, so just think of creative as a supplement to your actual gameplay. Your main goal whenever you hop on Fortnite is to play actual matches and succeed. And creative is just really supposed to be that supplement, you know, that can just help sharpen you and just you know just help you with more of your specific skills Okay, however, on that note, like when you do play creative, which shouldn't be more than like 30% of your total play time and as a general rule, it's really important guys to just play against good players or preferably players who are better than you. If you're just going against players, you can just stomp on over and over. I mean, yeah, that may be a little fun, but are you gonna grow from that? No, and why would you? You know, you're essentially just using the same techniques, strategies, and everything like that all over again, right? Okay, so the only way going against lower tier players really serve you best if you're just learning and just practicing new strategies, you know, that you found in an easier level environment, right? But if you're really trying to get better, one being players better than you is the move. All right, so think about it like this, all right? If someone consistently beats you in 1v1s, they obviously are doing something better. By going against them over and over, you can recognize their patterns and just replicate what they do and also learn how to counter that in the future, right? Contrary to like what a lot of people think, getting absolutely stuck on over and over is actually one of the best ways to improve because you're going to learn a lot and you're going to adapt to the strategies your opponent uses. So if you ask any pro player like what they did to improve in solos, chances are you're going to hear the term VOD reviewing at some point in the conversation because it's honestly one of the most important aspects of improving in solos, especially when it comes to competitive. I say this all the time on my Insta. All right, so we're not going to go too in depth on, you know, how exactly to VOD review in this video because we've already made an in-depth guide on this subject and we've mentioned it in some of the other videos as well. So if you guys are interested in this, the link will be right down below in the description. So if you want to improve in solos, especially if you're a competitive player, be sure to watch back your gameplay with a clear head after playing, you know, so you can just spot your mistakes and then learn how to improve. You know, I really recommend, you know, checking out the video in the description if you guys want to learn more about VOD reviewing, especially if you play competitive guys, like VOD reviewing can be the key to the next level for sure. So the fifth tip in this video is for all who know a lot of moves and you know you have them mastered, but you're struggling to find more moves and strategies to use. So if you're in this situation, you need to do something called a third person vibe review. Basically, like what a third person vibe review is, it's just watching a pro player and analyzing them. Instead of just hanging out and watching for fun, you know, you're doing this with a purpose, right? So to do this properly, grab a notebook or open up a notepad on your computer and just take notes on basically everything that that pro player does. 
from their rotations, man, to their building and editing moves, to their positioning and anything else that interests you, all right? From here, and I mean like right here, you're gonna look at these notes and just think about like how you can implement each thing they do, you know, with your own play style and just with your own, you know, way to improve. So there are a number of ways, you know, you can actually find the vibes that you wanna go over. First is really by simply looking up a player on Twitch or YouTube and just watching them normally from there. The other option is to look at the tournament leaderboards of basically any tournament. Some of the best tournaments for solos are Hype Nights and Cash Cups at the moment. Mostly Cash Cups for a bit, you know, more competitive gameplay and Hype Nights for more like W key oriented play styles and more fights. Okay, so by analyzing a pro player, you're gonna be learning new techniques and meta moves and strategies that a lot of players might not actually know. So analyzing and just learning from these players, yo, that's gonna help you guys a ton in improving and picking up new strategies. You know, if you're able to do your own personal VOD reviews along with occasionally like VOD reviewing pros, oof, yo, you're gonna be able to pair them together to not only improve on and just fix the mistakes that you're currently making, but to also learn new things that you can implement into your gameplay. And dude, that's gonna take your whole game to a whole nother universe. You know, it's really difficult to express the importance of VOD reviewing in Fortnite, man. It's by far the most essential part of improving in competitive Fortnite. And I really don't see it done nearly as much as it should be among people who are trying to get better. Also, I'd like to quickly let you guys know, all right? If you're looking for a pro player to VOD review your gameplay, you know, and just give you an experienced opinion on what you need to do. Okay, like I said at the beginning, we offer 24-7 on-demand coaching for some of the most awesome pros over at ProGuys.com. So check that out later. All right, guys, so overall, you know, improving at Fortnite can be, you know, long and difficult process. Trust me, I'm right here with everybody else, man. But hopefully the tips from this video are going to help you guys out in improving at your solo game, right? So by using this brand new realistic 1v1 creative map, guys, playing as many, you know, in-game events as possible, playing more scrims and arena, you know, 1v players better than you, and doing some burst and third-person bot reviews to spot your mistakes, I'm telling you guys, you're going to be a different player. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. It would really mean a lot to us if you could drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel, man, if you want to see more videos. We got so much coming. Spread the word to all your friends and make sure to follow me at my new Insta at your motivation guy. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.